Hi everyone, happy Friday. So this week we are celebrating Nurses Week. And this year it is so important uh, because of the coronavirus and everything going on. We are so, so grateful for our nurses and our doctors and our medical professionals working the front line. And um, we are so grateful to you. So thank you. We want to celebrate you. Um, so today we're gonna do a fun activity celebrating nurses and create a nursing cap. So nursing caps and the nursing uniforms have been around since the early 1800s. Um, nursing caps were originally worn by um, Christian nuns. So they were, and those women were called deaconesses. So these women wore long veils and head coverings to distinguish themselves as the women who took care of the sick. So that's where the idea of a nursing cap came from, um, was from these deaconesses. Now, the idea really took hold with Florence Nightingale. And Florence Nightingale probably sounds really, really familiar. Uh, she is really one of the most well-known people in medical history. She is known as the uh, founder of modern nursing practices. Um, she did a lot to revolutionize how we think about hygiene and things of that nature. So she implemented the wearing of nursing caps um, as a professional standard and to keep um, women's hair up and away from their face while they were working. Um, the cap kind of took two different routes um, after being implemented by Nightingale. So either women wore long veils, very much in the style of what a nun would wear, or they wore short little caps um, on the top of their heads. So for Nightingale wore a lot of lace caps. Um, these were der derived from in later years. Um, when we had nursing schools come in in the United States. The first one was in 1837, uh, Bellevue Nursing School in New York. They wore uniforms that included a cap. They kept progressing. Um, the caps got a little smaller. Uh, you had your very traditional white cap that you, that you saw with nursing students. A lot of them got their caps when they graduated. And this kind of hung around until the 1970s in the United States. Nursing caps were very, very popular. In the 1970s, they started phasing out. And by the 1980s, they were almost completely eliminated as nurses made the transition to scrubs. Um, so you have a lot of history with even what nurses were wearing. So not just with the nursing practices, but with the uniform attached to, to nursing. So Today, we are going to create a nursing cap, an old school nursing cap, one of the Red Cross style nursing caps in honor of Nurses Appreciation Week. Okay, so we are going to create an American Red Cross style nurses cap today. This would be from the early 1900s, mid 1900s. And all you need to create this nurses cap is two pieces of paper, some tape, and then a crayon or a colored pencil so that you can draw your red cross on the front. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do to create this cap is tape two sheets of paper together, eight and a half by 11, standard size copy paper, tape them together. I've already done that for uh, today for myself. And you're going to fold those pieces of paper in half and okay, that one long sheet of paper that you created you're going to fold it in half okay. like so okay now once you fold it in half you're going to take this top part here okay and fold it down into two triangles okay. so take the right side and left side and the two triangles should meet in the middle once you have that done, you can take the top point of now the large triangle that you have and fold that down to meet the bottom edge of these two folded sections. Okay. Now this is where you might want to get back out your tape and tape this down so that it stays still. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tape down that portion of the hat. And then you're almost done. So you've got your top part of the hat here, okay? 
you're going to take the bottom of your paper and flip it up. Now, you may have to cut the sides here. So I'm going to have to cut the side of my paper so that it will flip up. Okay, that's pretty easy. Just cut like a tiny little slit in the paper. I'm going to fold about two inches or one, one to two inches up the edge. Fold the other side up. And I've got my cap. So I can go draw on it, draw my red cross, and have a finished nurse's cap in honor of Nurses Day. So have fun making your nurse's cap. Thank you nurses for all the work that you've done. We honor you today. Thank you so much for all that you do.